Hello, Keiko here, and welcome to the chaos. Let's go. What are we going to do today? Well, we're going to continue with the quest. So last time we finished part one, like actually finished it. I was very impressed. Didn't think we'd manage it, but we did. And so we're going to start part two. And it looks like the first thing we're going to do is goes to the uh, Sabzaru Festival, which should be fun. Because that's the thing we were helping... Dronizard? Dronizard? Something like that set up with... Nilu. <laughs> I was trying to remember how you say it. I think it's Nilu. Um, so yeah. That's what we're gonna do. I have high hopes. <laughs> oh. Ah. We're also gonna be in the city. Which means... There's a lot of people we could potentially talk to. <laughs> Guys, I think you've been blessed. I'm sure. <laughs> sure. Uh, you won't be too bad. Okay. Okay. I have high hopes now. Uh, oh, fair enough, child piece. Fair enough. Um, this quest is the worst. Okay. I'm gonna hope you're wrong. <laughs> for my sake. But okay, okay. Uh, Sabzari Festival time, we're gonna find Dunizard. She wants to be around the Grand Bazaar. Okay. The thing is, I don't actually remember where have we been. Because I'm thinking, we... <sighs> In classic Keiko fashion. We're going to have to talk to literally everybody. And I'm trying to remember where we talk to people because I don't want to talk to them twice. I don't... I'm not that into conversation. So I know we definitely did the port. Oh, no. Yow, yow. Yow, yow. Now you're stuck. <laughs> that was not ideal. Okay, we're going to try this again. <laughs> because we definitely talked to all these people. Uh, and I think... Hmm. We definitely talked to these guys. And then up here's Catherine. We definitely talked to Catherine. Where is this leading us? I'm pretty sure we talked to this guy. Yeah, we definitely talked to these guys because I stole all of his uh, stuff. Okay, okay. We've talked. I think we talked to most of the people on like the outside. Maybe. Hmm. We definitely talked to that guy. And then another entrance. And we definitely talk to these guys who are non-existent. I said there were people here last time. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, oh, so I think fair enough, so I think fair enough. Okay. What else? What else is there? Hmm. I just want to make sure we've been, talked to everybody who's like in an area we're supposed to have been to. But I don't think we're supposed to have gone all the way up here yet. So it's not such a problem if we haven't talked to anybody up here. But I was hoping we talked to everybody in like the lower sections. I think. Well, we'll go check. There's only that one other route that's near the, um, near somewhere. <laughs> Is it over this way? I'm mildly lost. This is kind of a confusing place. Okay, okay. Okay, you master conversationalist. Got lost on this interaction, though. Yeah, some of them are quite funny. <laughs> They're just really weird. Wait, have I talked to this guy? Does he have... <laughs> hmm. I don't think I've talked to these guys. Okay, I'll talk to these guys. For no particular reason. <laughs> Just because I want to. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Hello. Wait, that's been Nahida. Hello. How can I save enough money to buy a custom made axe with floor carvings from the blacksmith shop? Why do you need that? To use as a weapon, of course. I might just be a homemaker right now, but I used to be a mercenary with the Ermites. 
so I always feel uneasy without a weapon at home. Peace is precious, but you must always be prepared for the worst. I can relate to that. Uh, if only my useless husband could think like you. The more money he makes, the more bows and arrows I can buy to keep my house safe. After all, the storage and maintenance of weapons are very important. Uh, man, these city folks have no sense of vigilance. Hmm, I like that she wanted specifically like a floor print axe. You know, you might as well make it part of the part of the decor. Uh, it takes courage to maintain a peaceful life too. Did you run into some trouble? Uh, no, no, it was just a thought. I used to be a sailor. I've seen every kind of storm you could imagine and not even a shipwreck could get the better of me. The way I see it, gales and tidal waves are nothing compared to always trying to keep steady in life. I guess I'm trying to say is planting a seed is easy, but raising a little sapling into a mighty tree is where the real work lies. But don't let me bother... Don't let my brother Hassan hear that or he'll start lecturing me again for being ungrateful. <laughs> Does sound a little... Really? You wouldn't think so if Mamata kept asking you to move the stool here and there until you found a place that doesn't affect the image of the city. In that case, even the experience of surviving 10 shipwrecks wouldn't help so much. <laughs> now by the danger of please let me move my stool again. Wait, why are they making you move his stool? What's wrong with it? <laughs> I think it's in a good location. Maybe that's the problem, it's in too good of a location. And they're jealous. Okay, who's... Somebody's a wanderer. Oh, let's talk to this guy, because he moves. Hello. Now watch out for pickpockets. Are there lots of thieves? With the corpse of 30 around, pickpockets wouldn't dare come around often, but there could be inside jobs. If you see someone who looks exactly like me, watch your wallet. He's my twin brother, a pretty thief, petty thief who talks nonsense all the time. Don't let him rub off on you, just keep an eye on his actions. You look pretty much the same. That's even easier, don't trust anyone. You'll pay the price someday if you let your guard down around people in uniforms. Wait, 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 wait. Akram is never gonna stop stealing, is he? <laughs> Why does this guy... There are thieves? Oh, this guy! That's the twin brother! Uh, you must know yourself as well as your enemy to win every battle, wouldn't you agree? What do you mean? As you've seen, I'm a member of the Corps of 30, naturally responsible for keeping the peace in Sumeru City. Theft, meanwhile, is the most common crime we see in more crowded parts of the city. How else can you catch a thief except by being familiar with how a thief thieves? When my younger brother sees me occasionally, very occasionally, mind you, simulate the theft in action, he always exposes my technique. How am I supposed to improve that way? Huh. <laughs> I can't let Crew see me the next time I make a move. Okay, I think this guy is a thief. He's just not a very good thief. So his brother keeps catching him. <laughs> Hello. Hello, how can I help you? And you are? I'm Mr. Nizam's secretary. I'm responsible for taking minutes for him. If you see Mr. Nizam scowling or sighing in frustration, please don't take it personally. That's just how he is. Just make your request in advance and he'll make sure he gets taken care of. There is so much mundane work. Can I clear my job? Only involves recording things. Ah, this guy. Hello, I'm the vizier. Vizier? Vizier? Uh, do you need any help? Vizier, what about your name? My name is Nizam and Vizier is my title. I'm responsible for administrative matters in the Grand Bazaar and Treasure Streets on behalf of the Academia. At least that's what the official document says. In reality, I mostly deal with trivial matters. Anything the Mahamatra don't want to deal with gets passed up to me. Said something about electing a new Grand Conservator or hand have things having gotten Vizier, just another excuse. What do you have to do with? For example, when it comes to the birthday of Lesser Lord Kuzanali, residents nearby would come to the Academia to apply for funds to hold the Savzuru Festival. But ever since the departure of Grace Lord Rukadevita, the higher up stopped organising the festival. They're not responsible for dealing with questions and doubts from the residents. In the end, I'm the one who has to smooth things out. I have to handle all kinds of things. But as such, as I complain about it, I'm still going to do as I should. Grand Conservator? Simply put, is the director of the House of Dana in the Academia. Everyone is free to request knowledge from the Akasha, but the access to some important texts and primary sources requires the approval of the Grand Conservator. The scholars of the Academia are very concerned about this matter. It doesn't matter to me, but Vikram and I had drinks together, so I can't support him, or else it may look rather suspicious. I want to go on vacation. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Vacation does sound nice. Uh, anyone else around here? No. Nate, are you stuck? <laughs> Wait, what did she just do? Okay, we made it. I think I got a little bit stuck there. But uh, I, I'm i pretty sure she's free now, so all is well. <laughs> is there anything... Oh, 
Chest, chest. Aha, secret chest. Okay, okay. <laughs> I love that there was a chest. There's no way you'd find that unless, like me, you decided to just climb where you were not supposed to climb. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Anyway, uh, anyone go hotly? Ari, 1999, height and plays it too. I have no idea what that is, so not me. <laughs> uh, custom made axe is all coming, tells us what you need to know about. <laughs> Farouk looks exactly like Farouk. Is Farouk the thief? Ooh, could be. He could also be a thief. <laughs> Don't trust the people with the uniforms. I'm gonna do things trustworthy. <laughs> no, you don't do that. That's rude. It's all good though. I I fixed it. <laughs> Hello. My mother in forest has been so unkind to me. What is it? My old wound often aches in humid weather, so it's pretty much hurts all the time in Sumeru City. Also because of it, I can only do simple work in town. It's truly a dilemma. When can I finally retire? Uh, hello, welcome to Sumeru City. If you're here for the first time, you can claim an Akasha terminal from me. About the terminal. Akasha is a treasure trove of wisdom left to us by Great Lord Rukad Devita. Using the power of the Akasha, the sages develop the Akasha terminal. By wearing it, you'll be aided by the wisdom of the Dendro Archon in obtaining the knowledge you need. In the past, the Academia only issued Akasha terminals to people of Sumeru or outlanders who were in a long-term residence in Sumeru. Academia decided late to distribute the Akasha terminals to all tourists in Sumeru, hoping to help all fill the universal compassion grace old Uka Devita. I didn't realise how many outlanders there were in Sumeru until I started this job. Okay, I think this is the entrance where we came in that one time. Like, this is this is where we came from when we entered the city from Grandaraville. That's definitely how you pronounce that. <laughs> I think, yeah, this is the way we came. Okay, okay. I just want to see if there's any people. I mean, I can see there's a little kid there. I'm going to talk to him in a second. I'm just, you know, canvassing the area. So I think we've talked to most of the people we're supposed to talk to in the city. There's just a couple of farmers out here who we may have talked to before, but I'm going to talk to them again. And if I recognize it, I'll skip it. <laughs> uh, Rana, Rana, when will you come see me? What are you singing? It's a song I wrote myself. Maybe Rana would visit me again if they heard the song. Who's Rana? Small round friends. <gasps> Rana would appear when the adults aren't around, just like me slacking off farming work. But Minu always makes fun of me all the time for believing in Rana and got mad at me for saying the name wrong. I've seen Rana. <laughs> I don't know how you're supposed to say this. <laughs> With my own eyes, though, they're the weed folk, so Rana <laughs> does exist for sure. Where do the Raranana usually live? I want to invite them to my house. <laughs> and who are you? Only kids who haven't grown up would believe in stories about Aranara. About the Aranara. They're fantastical creatures from fairy tales, so you must keep that in mind. If you still believe in the Aranara, you haven't grown up yet. What kind of stories? <laughs> Many, haven't you heard? Uh, like the brave Aranara, they might be small, but very brave. Despite their fear of fire, Aranara would protect the forest, <laughs> putting out wildfires with their bodies. Well, that took a turn. Aranara! Wait, no, that's just a childhood story. Minu is older now and doesn't believe in that anymore. Adults probably don't believe in fairy tales. Okay, we're just gonna... Just gonna ignore that. Um... <laughs> Who are you? Hello. I wanted the children I used to like in the academia. The children? They all went to the academia and became official researchers. Too busy to come home more than a couple times a year. So that leaves my old bones here. They have a great future ahead of them, so no complaints from me. I just want to know how they're doing. Kids will grow up. Right, you're right. I trust them to take care of themselves. It's just I always cook too much when cooking for myself. How about you take them if you don't mind? It's just some common Sumeru dishes. Hope you like it. Uh, ooh! That's a chicken. Oh, three of them! They're a lot tougher than us old geezers. And you are? Don't take my goods for the simple stuff. They're all from the renowned Palace of Aku. Lazari. About the palace. Even if you've never heard of that name, you should know the enormous palace in northern Sumeru, right? That's right, that's the palace of Aka Zazaraid. I work for the owner. Any product you touch carries a higher price, even if it couldn't be more ordinary. That good, huh? You don't believe me? Well, you should check the quality of my products before you make any judgment. You can have them, the palace of Aka Zazaraid won't have a problem with it. With me providing cover here, the boss's secret trade route should be safe. Oh! I see. Now, hello, how can I help you? 
and you work for, don't get me wrong, I don't work for the travelling merchant next to me and I don't need to listen to him. Besides, he just does what his employer tells him to do. What? If that Seraphi dare survive about the boss one more time! Ah, I see. And you? Hmm, I should still have enough stock at home. Stock of what? Dewey rose, mint, glutiful lotus, and the like. Don't underestimate those small plants. You'll benefit greatly if you know how to use them. For example, your face will glow if you mash Dewey rose in water and apply the mixture onto your face. To me, it always keeps Dewey roses in the house. Does it actually work? Well, in my experience, it'll help at least a little bit. Anyway, it won't hurt to give it a shot. Just try your luck. Many people understood how useful rose water really is. Okay, okay. I think we've now talked to everybody <laughs> in the kind of lower levels of the city. So like, you know, like this street and then down into like this. Mahita, why did you just do that? Okay. <laughs> this section and like down in the port and then also up here, I think we talked to all of these people. What's this? Wait, what's this? Oh, cafe, okay. okay. Uh, and we definitely talked to Catherine. And then we've done this section. And I think... Oh, no, I remember this guy. This is the light novel guy. Uh... Yeah, have we been down here? Well, I don't think so, because there's a hairdresser. I feel like I'd remember talking to a hairdresser. We talked to a different hairdresser. But not this one. He's in, like, he's in the corner. Hello. If that guy doesn't come up with some new story soon, he won't be able to keep himself fed. What guy? The guy at the cafe who always tells the same story all day. We studied hairdressing together before we dropped out halfway, saying he wanted to be some sort of cafe special resident storyteller that would capture audiences with stories of great heroes. I see he has a main new story name for himself other than being a cafe's resident bum. Use the same old rhetoric to wrangle the occasional cup of coffee from a kind customer. I need to come up with some more hair cells to attract customers. Okay. I'm a little bit lost, I'll be honest. No, we definitely talked to this guy. I remember him. And these guys. <laughs> I don't think we talked to that guy though. And his name is Millionaire Self-Proclaimed. Oh, he's not his name, he's like title. Rather than eat up with these predictions and futures from the excess of the exchange, I might as well get myself a lucrative dish. About the exchange. Oh, the Kalimi exchange is a place where you can see people's strengths, courage, and insights in action. The assets and the wealth, as well as sound judgment, you can really turn a profit there. Sufficient wealth isn't a problem for a bona fide noble like myself. The Oyanese haven't got anything on my family. Not all I'm missing right no, all I'm missing right now is an opportunity to make my family fortune even more abundant. That way my children can rest easy knowing they won't have to be merchants. How on earth do you earn a profit without losing your investment? Ah, I see. <laughs> I'm trying to just remember where I've been. I've, I've been many places and now I'm just like lost and confused constantly. But that, that's okay. We're going to steal from the blacksmith again. You know, just got to top up our supplies. No, nope. oh, no, no, don't talk to the blacksmith. Okay, <laughs> it's a bit awkward to talk to him while we actively steal all of his stuff. But that's, that's okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so I think we're supposed to be going down there. And I think I literally just checked this area. Yeah, I already went here like five minutes ago. So, we're actually do the quest. <laughs> into, into the bazaar. Because we've definitely talked to all those people. I remember doing that. Very clearly. Ooh! I think they decorated. I think so. I think so. Now there she is, Dunizard, we're back. Just as promised, Traveller and Paimon, I'm so glad you two came back to celebrate Lesser Lord Kazanali's birthday. Looks like we made it back in time, it's a very important festival after all. Ahaha, uh -huh. he indeed the festival is tomorrow, we have been preparing for so long, I can't help but feel a little nervous. There's no need to be nervous, Paimon, sure Lesser Lord Kazanali will feel everyone's gratitude. Yeah, thanks, Paimon. I hope everyone who comes to the festival will also have a good time. Speaking of which, did you manage to make your way to Port Ormus, discover anything over there? Of course he went, a lot of things happened there. Unfortunately we didn't find any information unless it looked Kuzanali, instead we were only left with more questions. <sighs> I see, sounds like you two had another exciting adventure. There's another chance I would love to join. <sighs> My lady, if you want, went to Port Ormus in your current state, we'd both be in for a lifetime of trouble. 
Uh, day, you were eavesdropping? <laughs> it's called covert protection, keeping an ear out for what's going on around my employer is part of the job. It's alright, Dea, I merely said I would like to go. I know better than to think my body could handle it. If I was tomorrow, I've been doing nothing but causing trouble for you, so Dea, please take some time to relax, I'll be fine. Hmm, even when you put it that way, it still doesn't feel right. Don't worry, my guardian knight. Okay, fine, but only tonight, tomorrow's a big day, and many no good scumbags are going to take advantage of that. Uh, oh, you two must be exhausted from your long journey back to the city. My apologies for not realising this sooner. I already prepared a room for you to rest. Please follow me. Uh, well, you're so thoughtful, Paimon's so ready. Okay. Hmm. It's outside. I think it's outside. Oh, we'll go this way. Uh, let's see. Um... Oh, the hydrate. Let me drink some water. <laughs> I don't think I drank that before. Uh, so many NPCs just wanting to leave. What? Oh, yeah, loads of them are just kind of like, can I retire? Can I? <laughs> can I do this? Can I do that? That is true. There are a lot of them. Uh, just like <laughs> a little too real. Anyway, where are we going? I am lost. <laughs> I came out of the tunnel and now I'm somewhere else. I think this is beyond the scope of where I was before. So I have no idea where I am. Is this... Okay, I guess where it's supposed to be. Uh, here we are, it's also fairly close to where I've been staying. It looks really nice. Sorry for the trouble. Uh, not at all, just tell me more about your adventures when you next get the chance. That's Paimon's specialty. Paimon can tell you stories next time. What our plans for tomorrow? Oh, if you don't mind, how about we all walk around together tomorrow? Uh, all my friends will be working at the festival and Dea is still insisting on her covert protection. But yeah, it'll be pretty hard to relax and enjoy the festival if Dea is constantly hovering over you, right? I'll keep you company tomorrow, it'll be easy to get information with your help. Then let's meet at the nearby bazaar first thing tomorrow morning have a great night. It's a deal, good night, Donizard. I may be too excited to fall asleep tonight, see you tomorrow. I'm starting to really look forward to the Sabzru Festival too. Will there be lots of yummy food? Oh no no, thinking about food is just going to keep Paimon up all night. The earlier we sleep the better, let's go inside Traveller. Okay. Uh, oh, did we oversleep? D did we? I have no idea. Uh, we should go meet Dunizard right away. I am going to explore my tiny room first though, because if there's any chance that there's some stuff in here, I want the stuff, <laughs> but I don't think there is. Outside we go. The door's open. How weird. Um, okay, where are we? Unfortunately, you know me, I've got to, we got to, we got to chat if there's anybody around here. Because, you know, this looks like the kind of place that might have some people, or it looks a bit abandoned. That's a bit weird. Oh, what's this thing? Maybe this is like the residential area? Oh, there's a dog though. I thought it was a bit of a fun oh, cat. Okay. Hmm, this looks a bit like a farm. Maybe it is a farm. If it is a farm, I've been stealing all of their crops, but that's okay. I'm sure they'll forgive me. <laughs> Okay, they might not, but they'll never know. Hmm. 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 Okay. What's up here? Oh. Beds? Uh, we know more than we can say. Even though it's Friday, little bishop has the potential to be a dragon. Okay. 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 Hmm. Not a chest. It is a chest. 
I'm still very confused about where I am or how I've ended up here. Like, I've just got a bit lost. Okay, okay. What's the guy? Hello. A combination of abundant sunshine, plenty of rain, and the Anahitan blessing will guarantee a good harvest. The blessing? What you never heard of the Anahitan blessing is practically essential to growing crops and it's not an over statement to say it's our saviour. Oh wait, I should say the Dendro Archon is our saviour since the blessing is a gift from her. O grace Lord, we could her, O Dendro Archon, may you grant us bountiful harvest. How does the Anahitian blessing actually work? Hmm, probably not a good sign that he doesn't know if he's advocating for this blessing. <laughs> um, okay. And there's another dog. And there's some people. Hello. God. Uh, hey, stop there. No one is allowed to leave. Enter or leave Sumer City right now. Go away. Yeah, well, okay. Hey, what? Why can't we leave? Why Why can't we leave? How am I supposed to connect business when I'm not allowed to leave the city? Wait, is that because... Because is this quest things or is this like, oh, must be quest things. Maybe it's so we actually have to go to the festival. <laughs> okay, yeah, he catches if you try and leave. Okay, okay. Well, in which case, I guess we're going to turn back around and <laughs> go back into the city, which is always supposed to be going. But yeah, I just, I can't just not check it out when we're so close. Okay, uh, let's see. I think I already went over here earlier. Yes, because down here is this place. And the Grand Bazaar. Okay, okay. Well, we need to go into the bazaar anyway, so we can, we can go down this way. Uh, or is this not where we're supposed to have gone? Wait, 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 wait. No, no, don't cancel navigation. Is that not in here? Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe I'm supposed to be on the outside. Okay. Oh, ah, here she is. Uh, Traveler Paimon, I've been waiting for you too. Good morning, Denizard. You must have, you must have overset a little bit. Not at all, I arrived early. A few today is finally here. I must cherish every moment as if it were gold. You've worked so hard for this day, you've got to enjoy it to the fullest. You know it just... It's just that, as expected, I had some trouble falling asleep last night and my body won't be too much of an issue today. Well, shall we? Let's start with the stalls over there. Any the vendors come out of the blue to support the event and they insist on covering costs themselves. Let's go give them some business. They pay for everything out of pocket. Sounds like they're not in just this, just for the Mora. They all said that contributing to a lively festival atmosphere is more important than money, especially since we don't often get to celebrate Lesser Lord Cousin Ali's birthday. Oh, they're selling food over that way. Let's go take a look. This is the store offering foods from the Half Mua Feast. Oh, you could tell straight away. I thought most people nowadays wouldn't know. Mushrooms, flowers, and all kinds of fruit is all vegetarian stuff. Pine was a little disappointed. So what's the Half Mua Feast you mentioned just now? It's another Sabsu festival tradition. People use this at their tables with seven different foods. Generally speaking, the most common selections were foods from, like Lucas Shava, mushrooms, Nilotopalanotuses, Tumu Roses, Sunsietias, Palatas, Hara Fruits, and the Zaytun Peaches. Sabsu festival is a vegetarian holiday. You don't have to be a vegetarian to enjoy the spread. We just use the seven foods to symbolize the seven virtues of the Dendro Archon. Wait, but if that's the case, if Sumer uses vegetarian food to represent the Dendro Archon, then wouldn't the Pirate Archon's festival be of food like roasted fowl, juicy meatballs, grilled steak. Traveler, we have to go to Natlin as soon as possible. <laughs> I hope your wish comes true one day, Paimon. Thanks. All right, how about we also check out some of the other stalls? Dear cousins, would you like to try your hand at alchemical divination? What's alchemical divination? Those two things sound like they'd be fun to try together. Right, I thought the same when I first heard about it. It's said to be a mysterious craft invented by none other than Lesser Lord Kazanali herself. How does it work? It's quite simple. After you give me any two alchemical reagents, I'll use them to perform a random transmutation. Sure, sounds random. So random that it'll take probably fail. 
That's precisely what we need. After the transmutation fails, you want it only divine to heal one separate the remnants. For some reason I don't buy it. This entire thing is way too random. Well, according to this Lord Cosnali, everything is interconnected and all that occurs can be traced back to fate. You can say this is a pearl of old wisdom. Why does everything sound so much more credible when Dunizard says it? Are you guys working together? So that's the true wisdom behind it. This young lady sure knows her stuff, so how about it? Want to give it a try? Alright, I guess we can give it a go. Ooh. Um. I need two items. What have I got a lot of? Uh, I have a lot of seagrass. And I want all of these. <laughs> okay, one moment. Hmm, it's the moon. I wants to take a look too, it is it? It looks more like a pie that Paimon bit into. Hmm, generally speaking, the moon signifies it means wait a moment. I don't think he knows. That's not good. I... Does he not know our fortune? Is he really looking it up in a book? Oh, I remember now, it means illusions and lies. Oh? Illusions and lies? That sounds rather ominous. Yes, but the book says that if you trust your intuition and overcome your fears, the sun will surely rise. He's not even trying to hide his book anymore. Naturally, fate will only ever show you the beginning of a journey. It's up to you to forge your own ending. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just learning as I go. <laughs> I guess that means that was still pretty interesting. Okay, on to the next door. Can we talk to these people? Oh, apparently so. I picked all these from the forest yesterday, so their freshness is guaranteed. <laughs> Every large flower carriages used to parade through the city as they headed towards performers. People would throw flowers, candy, and liquor all along the way. And his eyes are sparkling right now. But are they? Uh, hmm, I sure wish I could see, have seen that spectacle, but if you ask me, I'm sure Nero's dance of Sabzeri will be just as impressive. Was this guy here before? I don't think so. Uh, Faris, Faris. Tension soldiers fall into formation if you want any vault. Y'all the candies. It's a weird guy with a weird hat. Hey, it's Dunizard. Aha, Miss Dunizard, the children love you even more than Yala Candies. In a few short days, it took to prepare for the Sabzu Festival. The children have all grown very fond of you. Uh, hello, Knight of Flowers. It is an honor that you know my name. Uh, attention, in the name of Faris, the Knight of Flowers, I command you, commend you on your contributions to the glab glorious Sabzu Festival. All right, little soldiers, take your Yala Candies and don't forget your loyalty to Lesser Lord Kuznali. Dismissed. Yes, Knight Faris. Uh, just what is going on here? The Ferris Knights of Flowers is another Sabzeru festival icon and one immensely popular with children. In the past, the act of betraying Ferris would sit on a flower carriage. It's all thanks to Miss Dunizard so to ship the children can make such wonderful memories today. As are we to you, Viha. Not at all. Oh, speaking tradition, do you want some Yalda candies? A festival staple, and I happen to have some boxes ready here. Take a look and pick whichever one you want. Now, whichever one, don't these boxes all look the same? Ah, this is the fun part. Each box contains a random flavour. Up to luck of the draw. Flavors include lavender, melon, hara fruits, and satia. Ooh, those all sound pretty good. And there's also lizard tail and onakabuto. Huh? What's up with those two flavors? Onakabuto is a little spicier than lizard tail. Lizard, you, you tried them before? Hmm, traveler, help him. Pick one pine wants a sunset flower. I'll doubt you able to get the exact flavor you want. Don't blame me if I choose the wrong one. It's alright, Paimon believes in you. I also believe in your intuition. Great, these boxes of candy are numbered 1 to 5 from left to right. Which one do you want? Hmm. Let's go with five. This is every five. Attention, that's unfortunate. On a Kabuto. Ah, Paimon thought you survived so many epic battles because you had incredible luck. But it looks like Paimon was wrong. Sunset your flavoured candy was in box number four. How about this? The most important thing is that everyone has a good time at the festival, so please take both boxes. Uh, really? Thanks a lot. Night of candies. It's Night of Flowers, not Night of Candies. <laughs> I haven't really thought of the characters, Night of Flowers. They all basically sound the same. We've got our candies, let's keep going. Well, actually, I just remembered that I left something behind since you're here. Can you come with me to get it? 
Sure. And as well, you probably forgot because you're so excited about the Sabzuru Festival. <laughs> How embarrassing. Okay. Do you have anything to say? Uh, attention, young soldiers, are you here to join our ranks? Ah, I wonder if the other guy had something else to say, because we've talked to him before. Maybe not in this context. The Divine's interpretation is the most important part of our chemical divination. I just consulted the book to make sure you got the correct message. Okay, I wonder. Maybe that area is just like wonky because all well, the people are at the festival. Ah, that could be it. Okay. Look at the spinning travel mode, just sonic your way out of that. Yeah, pretty much. I like it. It's pretty fun. It's, it's so quick. It's so quick as well. Sayu is so. So speedy! It's very, very convenient. <laughs> uh, but what if it is a pie? I don't know. What if it is a pie? Does that change the results? I mean, a pie is kind of moon-shaped. So who knows? I <laughs> can't pronounce pie without pie. Yes. Okay, uh, we're too late. Who needs a little lady with such an early riser? I know, right? Hey, wait a minute, boss. Isn't that her? Oh, that most certainly is. We're in luck. She's walking right into our clutches. What? These Aramites don't look like they're up to any good. Uh, who are you? I don't believe the Hamayanis hired you. No, that's right. We haven't received any of their mora, but I wonder how much the Hamayanis would shout out to get you back. They're a gang of kidnappers. Traveler, hurry and protect Dunizard. We'll be fine. Hey, did you scumbags even consider that the... Miyanis might have hired a merc that outclasses you. Oh, she's angry. Uh, your Dea, Dea the Flame Maid, no wonder we mercs haven't heard anything about you for so long. You sold your unruly maid to the highest bidder. Don't no, speak so disrespectfully, my family started working with her as a gratitude for her past kindness to us. Don't worry about it, my lady, just some friendly banter between mercs. One part of those rabid dogs will expose themselves to what they really are. Hmm, aren't your claws all dull by now? Don't get too cocky. Traveller, take Miss Dunnyzard to a safe location. I uh, know we're going to stay and help. There's too many of them. Uh, we can't guarantee anyone's safety here. They have priority is her employer's safety. You, you're right. All right, fine. Now, uh, please be careful to her. Don't waste your time worrying about me. This is my job. Look out for yourself. After I've wiped the floor with them, I'll go find you all. Wait, what? Escape within the time limit? Where am I escaping to? <laughs> Where am I going? <laughs> Oh, that was quick. <laughs> uh, Dinizad, are you okay? You're a little pale. Are you in shock? I'm fine. My body always reacts like this whenever I exert myself too much. Are you sure you're okay? See, I'll be fine. After some rest, I'm more worried about Dea. After all, none of this would have happened if I hadn't insisted on coming out today. Don't worry, she's tough. She's protecting you because she agrees with you. Yeah, don't worry. My lady traveller found ya. Yay, you took care of them so fast. Any more of them, or rather did anyone follow you? No, I just... Uh, day, your arm. Oh, this is fine, it's just a scratch. Normally they wouldn't be able to hand hit on me at all, but I'm still getting used to this new greatsword. Uh, please let me take a closer look. Well, it's nothing. Us mercs aren't as fragile as you think. Hold on, you said something about a new greatsword. What happened to the one you were using before? Uh, about that, well, I sold it because I was low on Mora. Stuff like this happens every now and then. It can't be the anonymous donation that was used for the venue's final round of preparations. Oh. <laughs> Dea! Uh, Miss Sunnyzard, it was. I wasn't trying to make you cry. I'm not going to lose my commission because I made my employer cry, am I? <laughs> okay, making your employer cry won't affect your commission, but selling a weapon without permission and getting hurt, I have to reevaluate your performance. <laughs> you sound reasonable, my lady. Haha, uh -huh. thank you very much, dear. Uh, don't be like that. I get embarrassed really easily. Are you feeling unwell again, Dunzard? My lady, your condition, traveller, can you take us somewhere to rest? I'll look around the area to make sure we're safe from an ambush. No problem. Truly, I'm sorry for the trouble, everyone. Okay, I guess we gotta go down here somewhere? Ah, and here. Huh. 
<sighs> Phew. Are you feeling better, Dunisard? Yes, much better. Just give me a few moments and I'll be good to go. Look the expression just now when she mentioned your condition, just how serious is your illness? I didn't realise you were concerned about it. I guess I shouldn't continue to keep it a secret. I was actually born with Elazar. It's terminal now. Elazar? Can't believe it's Elazar. Uh, oh, you already heard of Elazar? In that case, you probably know about its severity. Jimbu's current medical advancements still haven't been able to find a cure. The disease progression can only be delayed through environmental therapy. Elazar. There's no need to be sad. I've always lived with Elazar and I came to terms with it a long time ago. Compared to the simple fact I'm afflicted with it, its effects on my life have been much more painful. I know that my family loves me dearly. They've done all they can to provide the best environment for me so I can live for that much longer. However, I know I will one day succumb to this. As you know, before I ran away from home this time, the world outside of my home didn't even know I existed. When I was a child, all I could do was sit on my bed and stare at everything outside of my window. I'm sure my family is worried and disappointed in me for running away, but I just didn't want to have any regrets. I wanted to meet other people. To me, there is nothing more beautiful than being able to meet and speak with others. Not to mention the incredible time spent preparing for the festival, the joy in everyone's faces and all that's here and all the support I've received from friends like Dea. This way, when my final day does arrive, it will be less sorrowful. At the very least, many people remember that I once existed in this world, right? Uh, yes, I remember you. Don't say that though, your time. You still have many ha You still have happy times yet to come. As long as you don't forget Paimon, Paimon also won't forget about you. Uh, I know even if you forget Paimon, Paimon will still remember you. Thanks. Uh, thank you to so much. I apologize for the depressing conversation. This is out of character for me. But as Lesser Lord Kuznali gave me the courage to do all of this, if it weren't for her encouragement, I wouldn't have taken that first step. Uh, you're one who has remained resolute in the face of your illness. You're already so strong for never giving up. Thanks. There will always be frustrations in my life, but I know that the point of living is not to leave behind any regrets. That's a wonderful mindset. All right, isn't it almost time? Huh? Almost time for what? Is the dance of Sabzuru about to begin? Is the part of the festival I've been looking forward to the most? Uh, Nili will recreate that legendary scene with her most splendid dancing, and the Sabzuru festival will conclude amid everyone's applause and blessings. And with that, my wish will also... Then what are we waiting for? Let's go to the stage. Yeah, we should still make it in time. There will always be people out here. Ah, okay, yeah. Oh, well, I guess we're going to go see the- I'm quite excited. I hope we do actually get to see a dance and not just like... It just goes, oh, and the dance is over. Because, you know, I want to see a dance. Well, you're not aware the law prohibits this type of performance from taking place without prior permission. <gasps> oh, no! Over there, someone's yelling at Nilu. I think I just saw the Academia's Grand Sage. Why is he here in person? But the dance of Sabzuru is one of the key parts of the Sabzuru Festival if we can't perform it. Sabzuru Festival, the law also prohibits the private hosting of large scale religious festivals. When the academia can host such an event. If you continue to resist, we'll have to order an investigation to every single event organizer. Grand Sage has already granted you much leniency. I advise you exercise tact. Well, I don't like these guys. Uh, how did things turn out like this? The Academia was originally responsible for the Sabzuru Festival, but they failed this responsibility for many years. I need to speak with them. But don't go, they have the final say in all of this. If we force their hand too much, the situation may get ugly. This is a hard pill to swallow, but you're right, things only get worse. Art, dance, aren't you ashamed of pursuing such frivolous and meaningless activities in this land of knowledge of reason? Our Archon created the utopia that is the city for all scholars who sought validity, ver verity, and truth, while people like you wish to defile it. Aren't those three things the same? Validity, verity, and truth. No, I believe our Archon never rejected the arts, even the goddess of flowers dedicated a dance to her. With your lack of intellectual uh, credentials, I do not believe you are qualified to debate with me. What you should be doing is finding workers to tear down this ridiculous eyesore. Why do you care? Just leave them be! I think she should host an illegal dance. When the guy's not looking and uh, hope for the best. When we return, have the scribe draft an ordinance before the next Nagaba day that prohibits public art performances. We will announce it to the public later via the Akasha. Nope. Oh, Understood, I will form him when I return. No, don't. don't <laughs> Sabzuri Festival, go celebrate the birth that got to your heart's content. Uh, Nilu, are you okay? Oh, Dedazard, you all saw that just now. The Grand Sage ordered us to stop the performance. Yeah. 
Is somewhere the academia can't find us and perform there? Ah, but how do we let everyone know? And what about the atmosphere and the stage? Oh, I like it. Secret dance. Or you get people to block them off so they can't interrupt the performance. Ah, no, they just let them investigate the organizers if we were caught. Uh, Nilu, it's all right. Don't worry about it. But you've been looking forward to the dance of Sabzu so much. I know how important this festival is to you. I don't want you to have any regrets. It's okay. See, you care this much about my feelings is more than enough. It would be too risky to continue the Sabzu festival at this point. I don't want to get everyone in trouble. If you say so, but you can sneak out for the next Sabzu festival, right? We'll make sure the next one is a smashing success. The next one. Yes, okay, it's a promise. It will be a smashing success. Oh no. Oh no. That was a face of someone who does not expect to make it to the next Sabzu festival. Oh no! I, I really- I can't believe we didn't get to see a dance! They cut it out! Well, plot cut it out, but still! I can't believe this. this is how things turned out. Those hardest pieces. Is there anything else we can do? Should we try to think of another way? It really is okay. There's nothing we can do about it. Uh, still, I'd be lying if I said I had no regrets. It, I would have loved to see Nidu's dance. This festival was forced to come to an unfortunately abrupt end. Ugh, a lot happened today. It's a shame the festival ended the way it did. You know, and Dunizard promised to make the next Sabzu festival a success, but Dunizard is running out of time. I'm sure she knows that very well. This might may be a regret that can never be resolved. Yeah. Beep? Beep? All connections have been secured to construct the most stable framework possible. The project has entered its most critical phase. Power has begun to flow from... What? Oh, we're going to be late. It's all because you wouldn't get out of bed. We should go meet Dunizad right away. Wait. 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 I'm confused. <laughs> Um, no dance, typical academia gatekeeping. <laughs> we were like senior administration. Uh... Oh, hello! Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I feel like I knew this. This. Hugo? Hugo! Hello! Hello, welcome! Are uh, you got an account from a friend? Can you add my new account? I mean, if you add me, then I can add you. Sure. Go for it. <laughs> oh, my comp mode is locked, apparently. Ah. Well, I hope this doesn't become a problem later. Um, <laughs> my UID is at the bottom. <laughs> it should be visible underneath the purple cloud. Um. <laughs> Beep. Beep. Okay, I think something might have happened here. Um, good morning, Dennis Sorry, we're late. We're late for what? We already did this. Oh, I arrived early. You seem kind of tired. Did you not get enough sleep? I'm doing well. I need to worry. Shall we go? Let's start with the stores over there. Oh, Keiko's suspicious too. Stores over there. Shall I travel? Why are you just standing there? Let's get going. Ah. Ah. Hmm. Huh? Ah. Mm. huh? Why are we repeating this? Groundhog Day? <laughs> are we gonna get to see the dance this time? <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip the dialogue. We already did this. The whole time that was pointed. Maybe I should read it again. Um, yeah, yeah. Wait, something just now. Something feels really familiar. Remnants appear to be in the form of the moon. The mo Wait, we skipped to the moon section? We found with it like some kind of food. Moon signifies. Keep it for me now. Wait a moment. So we're looking it up in a book. Illusions and lies, if you trust your intuition. 
uh, I feel like I've had this before. Is this deja vu? How does it? I'll keep that in mind. I think I'm just letting it as I go. Interesting. Next door. Mm. Is this the candy? The candy! But we've done this! We've done this! We've done this! As far as soldiers of county, don't forget your loyalty to let's sort because Nali dismissed. Yes, no, far as. What's going on? Is this a play? Far as, not flowers, and let's have to do a festival icon. Give the children. Blah, blah, blah. You want some candies? Uh, okay. Well, we know it's in box four now. That is a choice next box four is indeed Sunsetia. Ah, oh, Paimon bet you had incredible luck and Paimon was right. That is now I don't think that was luck. He looks so confused. I don't know why I knew it must have been number four. Well, how's that possible? It's obviously random. Why do I keep having the sense of deja vu? What a strange feeling. We didn't sleep very well last night and maybe we slept too much. I'm sorry, Dinosaur, but I need to leave for a moment. No, oh, sure. Oh, where are you going? You're just going to walk off like that? Go to the tavern? Wait, but isn't she going to get kidnapped if we don't go with her? Me, it isn't a moon, it's a pie. But is it moon pie? Because I'm pretty sure there's a pie that's called moon pie. So it could be that. <laughs> it's your eye like a big pizza pie. <laughs> that is a very fitting song for this current situation. Okay, okay. I also now understand why... Uh, Stripe and Ave might have said this was the worst quest. Because the repetition's a little bit annoying. <laughs> well, not so much, but a little bit. A feeling of deja vu? Paimon knows what that is. It's when you feel like you've already experienced whatever is going on. In that case, Paimon also felt something like that today. But that's just our brains playing tricks with us, isn't it? So why'd you run here in such a hurry? I want to do something I normally would never would. I want to see if I can get rid of this deja vu. That's it, you're just intentionally doing things you usually wouldn't and seeing if you'll still get that same feeling of deja vu. Welcome you two. Are you here for lunch? What would you like to eat? One charcoal baked. I would you like a nut cake, please? Got it. You don't like that you're from these parts. I gotta say, you've got good taste. I'll give this order to the kitchen. Charcoal baked. A Janica cake. Isn't it that that burn thing that didn't look tasty at all? Oh, Pyra understands what you're trying to do now. You'd never normally order something like this. That thing, are you really gonna eat it? It's this going a bit too far. Here goes. Why do you look so upset? How was it? The look on your face is telling Pyron it tasted awful. No, oh, it actually tastes really good. Then you mean this oh, I don't know, I clicked. Uh this flavour. Ah uh, no, it's too slow. <laughs> That's impossible. We were just talking about how gross it looked. So would this be a case of taste bird deja vu? can get rid of it after all. Looks like I tried this before. Paimon also gets the impression that we've been here many times even though we aren't regulars. Hmm, how about we go out again and try something else? Leave the tavern. Okay. Right at that time's ten. Oh no. <laughs> Tavern's gonna be kind of cool though. You want to see how it plays out? Yeah. I want to see how it plays out. I love that it just tells me that Tabat has its own laws. Like, why, why did you put laws in inverted commas? Like, what? <laughs> 
Aiden is odd is sitting by herself on the bench over there. What a coincidence, Tony Zod, we meet again, or why are you sitting here all by yourself? I ran into some kidnappers just now, but thankfully Dea came to my rescue. I started to feel unwell after that, so I sat down here. Kidnappers? Oh my goodness, are you hurt? I'm okay. Dea's arm got scratched, but it isn't serious. Yeah, that's a big relief, but Dunizard, you seem a little down today. It's the Savagery Festival, and you've been not looking forward to it so much. Not all I've always been like this. Excessive physical exertion or strong emotions tend to aggravate my illness. Besides, no matter how amazing today may be, it is but a single day. I have to have many more days, my time will come to an end. Someone doesn't quite follow you, and Paimon feels like something's really got you down right now. Hmm. I'm so sorry for leaving you behind, Elia. It really is fine, I don't mind. I've experienced a number of strange events. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? Ah, oh, did something happen? Sunny Zod, have you ever felt deja vu? You know, like when you've already experienced something that's happening right now? Deja vu? No, but my days have been the same for years now. Even if I was feeling deja vu, I suppose I would already be used to it. Oh, Paimon sees, then is it only the two of us? It's almost time. Our time for what? Nelly's dance of Sabzer is about to begin, let's go. <laughs> Laws are fake. Okay. I don't know if Jong Lee would be happy to hear that, but uh <laughs> Ooh. Oh this again. If you lack of intellectual credentials, I do not believe your client might debate with me. What you should be doing is finding weapons to tear down the ridiculous ISIL. When we return, have described after an order. Blah, blah, blah. Understood. Magic Festival. Hmm. Hello, are you okay? Or just to stop? It's okay. You can be really looking forward to this. It's true. Again next year, next festival. I probably won't be around by then. Oh, she's saying it out loud this time. Oh, wait, what did you just say? No, nothing. I'll be heading back to rest. Thank you for your help, everyone. I can't believe what those heartless geezers did. No shame. For some reason, I feel like this outcome was inevitable. Then you not really go back. We should also return to get some sleep. The festival has come was to come to an abrupt end. In the end, you still couldn't figure out what the deja vu feeling was all about. Maybe it really was because of exhaustion. Okay, pretty up, groggy. I hadn't thought about it, but my head does feel very heavy. I'm here, that's my poem. I was up talking about it halfway through the day. And how about we settle in and get a good night's sleep? For now, we can talk things up to exhaustion. We can do more thinking tomorrow. Why is there a squirrel in our house? We let the squirrel in. Thanks for watching everyone, if you've enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe. If you'd like to see me play live then check out my Twitch channel. You can find me on Wednesdays and Sundays at 8pm GMT. Thanks again and have a great day!